Hey guys, it's Matt from Electric All Wheel. I wanted to take a minute and take you through some of the settings for this e-bike lane kit that I put on this 20 inch youth bike. I went ahead and I hooked up my iPad here so we can walk through it. The kit for this display on their website the manual is a bit off, but I did reach out to their customer service and they hooked it up. There was a disparity between P10 and P11 on their um, settings and the parameters. So found the manual and I was gonna take you through some of the, my favorite things. Okay, so to turn it on is pre long press the mode button in the middle. And then within five seconds, five to eight seconds, you press the up down button at the simultaneously. And then it goes into the parameter setting. So let's give this a try. I'm going to long press and then pressing both up and down. There it is. Perfect. So now we're in the settings. So P1 was the brightness and I have it on three. Uh, P2 is the units and it's already set to miles, which is good. Uh, we're on 52 and this is the 52 17 and a half battery. So that's good. P4 is uh, sleep time, I don't have that set. I want it off actually, so it's at zero on the bottom here. Five is the pass settings on the manual. So there's three sets. There's one with three levels, one with five, and one with nine. I chose nine, I like nine. Wheel size is P06, and you can see there it says 20. And then we have the range. So this was preset, and you can see it actually in the manual. I said it's preset for 46, and that's perfect. P08 is the speed limit, and then I pushed it out to 100, so it maxes. P09 is the zero start, and it'll engage the motor instantly, and the non-zero start will delay when you hit the throttle. I'm not about that. I want reaction right when I hit it, so that's on zero for me. Uh, the drive mode setting, um, I put mine in power drive plus electric. Uh, it, the electric does not work in zero status, so that's number two, and I put that, so P10 is, I chose two. I want it to take off in both pedal assist and with the throttle, and then, as you'll notice in the manual, it skips from 10 to 12. Uh, got online and saw this, and then I reached out to customer service and they said that this is the way to go. So P11 is the sensitivity. Uh, set the sensitivity carefully. One is the most sensitive. So I'm gonna bring that back to one. I played around with it last night trying to get the answer to what this was. So I'm gonna reset that back to one. From there, we're gonna go to P12. I'll go back to the manual for this. I like the, the layout of the manual. Assist power intensity. I put that on three because paths can get a little tricky. Uh, P13, this, uh, there are three types. It is 12 by default. There it is, 12, so that's good. P14 is the current limiting range. And this one shows 12. The original current is 12 and the range is one to 20. So P16 is the Odometer zero out. I don't want to do this. I, I definitely want to read out on how many miles my kit has on it So I'm leaving that one alone And we're done So there's a couple of things you already know that the holding both the buttons um, For any amount of time right after you turn it on will get you into the parameter setting And then to get out of it You'll do the same thing you just press and hold the top and bottom and then it'll take you out into the normal settings so here is where you can change the display and you just press on the mode button. I like having the audio up. The trip resets every time you turn it on and off. And there is actually a, I think there's a light plug-in on the display or the uh, controller to use. We know that the up down buttons are to change the level of the paths. So I'm down, now I'm up. There is a walk function, so if I long press the down, it's going to take off. 
to deactivate it, you hit the brakes or actually with uh, the throttle side, you can hit the throttle just so it knows that you're there. Down button also doubles as a cruise control. So when you're at speed, you can actually hold it down and then it will catch as a cruise control. And the same principle applies to kill it. You just pull on the brake lever or you press on the throttle. The up button is the backlight. I have mine on and so it doesn't sleep. So one of the things that I really like about this kit is that it has a USB plug underneath the dash. And when you plug it in, it'll charge your phone, which ideally I'd have a rack right there on my handlebars. Be careful if you get these, these don't have the 22-2 crossbar. So look out if you buy the ones in the description. Beware of what that is. I actually added extra spacers you'll see in the previous videos in the playlist where I added spacers here so that we actually get the grip. I didn't really expand upon this earlier, but this thing is to the left one. It's nice because there's a lot of dash space on the crossbar for all sorts of attachments and two, the cabling to get it wrapped and make it look good. There wasn't a long enough distance between your buttons and the actual controller display to center it. So that's why it's to the left. I like it anyway, so I'm not really worried about it. Already check out the website. The e-bike selection guide is out there for everyone that doesn't want to do this DIY thing. So let us know what you think about that in the comments. Give us a like and subscribe. And we'll talk to you next time.